hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome today i'm going to be going over some drugstore skincare that i have been recently loving if you guys have not yet subscribed click that subscribe button and let's get right into this video okay, so the item i want to get into first you guys this neutrogena it's the ultra gentle hydrating cleanser the creamy formula i love this cleanser you guys this cleanser is really good it is very hydrating which is why i absolutely love it I picked this up just because I'm doing the curology treatment and one of the derm and the dermatologists did recommend that I pick this up just because it's very sensitive for the skin and it's not comedogenic, meaning it's not going to clog your pores. It's going to give you a nice clean layer of skin, but it won't leave your skin feeling super dry. The winter months in my routine, I just felt like I wasn't getting the hydration and I had to think about, okay, what are you doing in your routine? What, what are you starting with? And the cleanser is always the culprit. Do you have a hydrating cleanser? Do you have a cleanser that's stripping the skin? Um, if you have more of a foaming cleanser, that tends to leave the skin a little bit more drier. So you always go with your cleanser first. That's what I would say for me. What are you using in your skincare routine? Because the most important parts of your skincare routine, you guys, is cleansing and moisturizing your skin. Moving on to the next drugstore item would be the Olay Complete. This is the daily moisturizer with um, sunscreen. This is the Broad Spectrum SPF 15, also for sensitive skin, you guys. And I love this because it is, again, non-comedogenic. It has zinc, which is great for acne. It does give me a white cast, I can't say that, but when I massage it into my skin, it does melt into my skin nicely, so I do like that. And I'm almost through this bottle, you guys. I have to get another one, and this is a moisturizer and F SPF in one. The next thing I wanna talk about, you guys, is this Meissler water. As you can see, I have been killing this. This is the one by Garnier. This is the pink one. It is for all skin types and even sensitive skin. It's a no rinse, no harsh rubbing for your face, lips, and eyes. And when it means like no harsh rubbing, you guys, no harsh rubbing. How I use this is I get a cotton pad and I soak it like crazy. I mean, soak it. And all I do is like gently massage my face, massage my skin, removes my makeup very well. Not only do I use this to remove my makeup, but I was also recommended by my dermatologist to use this as a cleanser in the morning if I need to or a cleanser at night. And I did not even think about that. I've used this many times before and I didn't even think about that, you guys. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. The great thing about this when you're cleansing your skin is it is super hydrating. When my skin is feeling a little bit on the dry side, I cleanse my face with this in the morning, apply all my other products and my skin feels really good. If you struggle with getting your mascara off, this is your girl. She will get it off for you. She is the key, okay? I'm telling you, it does remove your makeup so amazingly. You do not have to tug at your skin. It is also non-comedogenic, that word again. On to the next drugstore product, I'm gonna be mentioning these two masks by Burst. I love Burst, I love their skincare, and I've used both of these on my channel. Well, did I? I have, I did a tutorial, I did a review on this one. Not so much review on this one yet, but I did use it on my channel for Skin Prep Sunday. Um, but anyway, so let's talk about the Fine Clarity. This is a purifying mask. It has bentonite clay and white charcoal clay. It pulls up all your impurities, you guys. It cleans out your skin really well. Um, you notice that whatever's underneath your surface does start coming to surface within the next day or so. It works as a nice detoxing mask, so I love this. This is a little drying after you rinse it off, I'm not gonna lie. It does dry your skin a little bit because bentonite clay does do that. Make sure you're using a very hydrating skincare routine after using this mask. This one is the Brightening Tightening Mask with Turmeric and Kaolin Clay. Now, this mask I love because when applying it, it's super moisturizing, you guys. Um, it feels so good on the skin and that has a lot to do with the turmeric in it. Turmeric has great moisturizing properties also. And my biggest, biggest plus on this is it's not cold. When you apply this mask, it's not cold, it's not shocking, it doesn't take you back. It is just a great mask. But when you rinse it, your skin does not feel as dry as it does with this because when you're rinsing this, you can like rinse and cleanse your skin at the same time with this mask, it's crazy. So when you go to remove your mask, you're not tugging, your skin is not red, you're not fighting to get this mask off your face. These masks are really good and drugstore price, you cannot go wrong if you guys are looking for clay masks. 
please try these. Okay, so the next things I wanna jump to, they're not found particularly in the drugstore, but you can find them in Ulta on the drugstore side. And it is The Ordinary. Love their stuff. This is the Rose Hip Seed Oil, and this is the Hyaluronic Acid 2% and plus B5. So I love both of these together. How I use these is with the hyaluronic acid, I'll use this after I apply my acne treatment. It is very thick. It is a serum and it's super like gooey almost. So you're gonna take like a few pumps into your hand, massage together, and then you can start by swiping, but then I like to press into my skin because it is kind of gooey. You can use this in the morning, you can use it at night. And this just gives us the extra added moisture that we need. If you guys didn't know, hyaluronic acid is found in our skin. So this just gives you an extra boost of it. I do use it in the morning and at night. This is perfect when I get asked, what can I use for extra hydration? My skin feels dry. I recommend a hyaluronic acid. I recently had that question. Um, someone messaged me and asked me about their skin. I think they live um, in a drier climate and I recommended this because it's just perfect. A perfect step in your skincare routine after you cleanse your skin before you go in with your moisturizer you want to use this and I'm telling you guys if you haven't tried it just try it. the rose hip seed oil is another ordinary item I apply an oil after all of my skincare after I'm done cleansing my skin after I've added my treatment after the hyaluronic acid and if I do go in with the moisturizer then I go in with the rose hip seed oil at the very end because it seals everything in if you put this on first, all your other skincare is just gonna sit on top of this. So it's not gonna penetrate your skin. And this is very lightweight, you guys. You just need like three drops in your hand, massage your hands together and press into the skin. It does help with balancing out your sebum production so that you're not overproducing sebum. When you overproduce sebum, it clogs your pores, which causes bacteria, which causes acne. It just like a domino effect okay the next thing and the last things i want to talk about are can you guys guess sheet mask <laughs> can you tell i love them i have a big huge um stack that i want to talk about i'm not going to talk about all these and i also have more in my bathroom but i couldn't bring all of them out because that would be crazy because you get the point but i love sheet masks you guys they're very hydrating there are some that are more hydrating than other well you can find them any in any drugstore i particularly like to buy mine from alta but I do have a face store subscription and these are pretty much where all these come from. You want to use a sheet mask after you cleanse your skin, you guys. Massage the essence into your skin, use your rose hip, use your rose hip seed oil on top. You can go to bed and that is it. That is how hydrating they are, I absolutely love. This one is the Everyday Lemon Brightening Mask. This one is the Aqua Mask. Then you have your Cucumber Mask. You have a Tea Tree Mask. You have a Rice Brain Mask. You have a Collagen essence mask you can leave these on your skin for about 15 minutes you guys watch your favorite tv show scrolling on your phone just chilling or relaxing having a glass of wine they don't move they're just amazing remove off your face you can either you can even you guys if you're lazy you can even sit in the bed with this mask on your face remove it rub the remainder of the essence in your skin and go to bed that is how easy it is so if you're like i don't have time to do skincare and i don't have you do i promise you you can make it work guys your skincare routine can be very simple everything that i mentioned here you guys i will link down below and i absolutely love everything that i mentioned i really need to repurchase this micellar water because i am low i'm trying to use it sparingly they do also have a blue top one and they have they do have a rose water one that's a new one and when they're different colors i didn't notice at first but at the bottom it tells you why so this is, this is for sensitive skin i think the blue one is for like oil oily skin so they have different colors for different reasons if you don't get anything from these products that i mentioned pick up the micellar water you guys it is just great because it does so many things in one so i definitely would recommend picking up something like this so that completes this video you guys sweet and straight to the point let me know below what you tried and what you love if you plan on trying them i definitely will leave everything down in the description box if you have not yet subscribed you guys click that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.